This is the phone. The first thing you have to do, you have to put at this machine at least for 10 to minutes so you can remove the back glass. This one is glass, okay? This one already cracked, but if you all never crack, you have to very be careful. If you don't have the at machine at home, you just put the hot water under the pot. When the pot is boiled, we just cover it with a pan, you just put the phone there. So this one will become hot a bit. At least you can able to take out the glass without cracking the glass, okay? My own already hit it, I just need to open it. When you hit it, you make it more easy for you to open it very fast. Okay. You open it right now. Because I already hit everywhere. So it make it more easier for me to open. Okay, take out the back. Okay, there are so many screws. You need to take out all the screws here and transfer everything here because the screen come one set to the frame. Okay, so you have to remove everything from here and put to this side. Okay, so you have to take out all the screws. Okay. So many screws make sure you take out all the screws back of the phone okay don't leave any screws because you are going to transfer everything to the other ones there okay after i take out all the screws okay you just remove the panel first one here remove it to the magnet charger disconnect the magnet charger from here okay and you take out this one and disconnect the sensor for the pen okay you move the speaker down just put it one side like this okay then i disconnect the battery okay disconnect the lcd cable disconnect the connector to the charging system make sure you disconnect all those connectors here okay this one for the uh, pen okay you disconnect it now you need to take out this cover on top you move it put it one side disconnect this cable here okay this one is for the volume key and everything this one comes with everything okay you just remove the motherboard remove the battery and remove the charging system and transfer from here okay so now before you take out the motherboard you have to remove the sim tray first stop here take out the sim tray Seems to taste a bit hard, like there's glue on it inside there, so it's stiff. I just take out from inside like this and remove it. Put it one side, okay. Then you take out the motherboard. You just do it slowly. Just be careful, don't rush to remove it, just do it slowly like this. Okay, if you like, and disconnect the front camera, just remove the motherboard. Okay, put it one side. Okay, remove the front camera, put it one side. Okay, now you need to remove the speaker. Be careful when you remove the speaker, you just make sure the preset is down properly before it is up so you don't spoil the speaker. Okay. The glue is a bit hard, but just do it slowly like this. Okay, you put it one side. Okay. Now you need to remove the charging system down here. Remove this three screw. Just mix them together with this screw, the same screw. You just remove, uh, make sure you put back the three screw. Then after you put the motherboard, the charging system side. Okay. Then take out this motherboard slowly. Okay. You remove it with the connector like this. Put it one side. Okay. This one is a vibrating. You have to take it out also. You always make sure you put the pencil down. Okay, remove the vibrating, put it one side, okay. Now you need to take out the battery. All these ones, this uh, volume key and this ones, all here. No need to worry about that. The glue, so everything is here. So you take out the battery now. You make sure you use the pen set. Don't use the sharp pen set so you don't spoil the battery. Always use the pen set like this to take out the battery, okay. You do it slowly because the glue inside is very hard. Just open it slowly like this first. Okay, 
you slowly don't wash so you don't spoil the battery because the battery glue very very hard glue okay after you open it small like this if you have the spray you can use the spray you can use the spray to weaken the glue a bit okay if you don't have the spray you do it slowly okay until you remove the battery this spray will make the glue become weak a bit Without have the spray at home, you have to do it slowly, slowly until you remove it, okay? Then use the pen set again, slowly. Because the glue is very, very hard, so you have to take your time when you do it. Okay? Okay. This is the only way you have to remove it, but you have to be careful you don't spoil the battery because the glue is very, very, very hard. That's why it's good to, for you to have the spray so you can weaken the glue a bit. Then I spray it a bit inside. remove it when you use the pencil don't don't push the pencil on the when you bend the pencil don't bend on the battery side bend from the LCD side okay so you don't spoil the battery if you have the spray just bend from the LCD side like this they use the battery up like this okay they take out the battery after you take out the battery you can just straight it like this okay so the battery will straight again for you to fix it okay now it's time to fix everything back here okay so the first thing you have to do you have to remove this plastic to fix the speaker from here the glue is down there okay remove this one remove this plastic here also be careful don't remove the glue leave the glue there just remove the plastic on top okay then you fix the speaker okay all this plastic you remove them slowly don't force to remove they don't spoil anything just remove remove them okay now you fix the motherboard first on top here make sure you fix the front camera very nice again now you can wait you fix the motherboard first slide it in like this Make sure all the connector is up. Okay, fix the motherboard very nice. Okay, you fix the front camera. Make sure it fix well. Okay, you fix the volume and power button key. Fix it very nice and fix this one for the pen, the connector. Make sure it fix very nice also. Okay, you fix the sensor for the pen. Very nice here also okay now you fix the how they call it the charging system before you fix it make sure you fix the vibrating first this vibrating don't come with glue so you have to put your own glue okay so the vibrating, vibrating become very firm make sure you put it exactly how you take it out like this okay then you fix the charging system you just slide it inside okay just slide it like this make sure you go inside well before you push it down okay then you replace back the three screw you take out from there all the screw is the same so don't worry just take put the three screw okay now you need to fix the battery make sure all this connector is up okay and remove this uh, plastic because the glue is there for the battery okay remove this plastic okay now you need to fix the battery before you fix the battery down to the glue make sure you fix the battery terminal first so you don't lose the position for the battery okay you fix the battery terminal first like this Okay, they fix the battery inside very nice, straight. 
make sure the connector is up a bit so the battery will rest okay you put the battery nice like this okay then you disconnect the battery back before you fix any connector okay then you fix the LCD connector fix it very nice fix the charging system connector also make sure you fix all the connectors okay don't leave any connector behind This one is for the network and the vibrating. So make sure you fix it very nice also. Okay. Then you fix this cover on top here. The, for the network and the Bluetooth. Make sure you fix it very nice also. Okay. Then you fix this sensor for the Okay, the sensor is already there, comes with it, new one, is there already, you don't need to remove the old one, just use the new one, okay, so you just take it out from this side, okay, then you fix the ringer, slide it from the down here, okay, then you put the ringer like this, okay, then you connect the, the sensor charger, it connects it very nice. Okay, before you connect the battery, the battery is the last one you need to connect. Okay, then you put back this panel, then you replace all the screws you take out from the back of the phone. So many screws, don't leave any screws. Okay, make sure you replace all the screws. Make sure you place all the screw back of the phone okay okay after you apply all the screw okay now it's time to fix the the glue you make sure you move the one sticker card the corner here so the back cover will fix perfectly just remove it like this okay now you need to apply the glue right down make sure you put this right down don't put on top of the screw just put it right down like this okay make sure you put it right down very nice okay Okay, after I put the glue right now, you just put the back cover very straight, exactly how you take it. Just put it very straight like this. Okay. Don't forget to put back the same tray. Okay. Then put this rubber at least for 30 minutes so the glue become dry. If you don't have the rubber, you can still use the tape. Just put it there for 30 minutes so the glue become dry. Put down here also. And put it up here okay now you on the phone to test the lcd okay you see the phone on the lcd is showing it's working perfectly the phone is very good i mean it's okay hello guys if you like my video please subscribe to my youtube channel